What do you get when you put one world against another? More specifically, Marvel vs. DC Universe. How about putting up Batman against Spider-Man? I mean, they're both superheroes, right? See, every person has their favorite superhero, but they've always wondered, is mine the best? Can they put everything they've got on the line and be better than all the rest? And with that, I present to you MGX and Marvel vs. DC Universe. What is going on, sports commentators? March Madness. Your boy Kurt is back in round two. I just want to say thank you to everybody who voted for me. But without further ado, we're jumping straight into this video. Now I got you guys an MGX mod, Marvel vs DC Universe, but hold on, Superman gets up. And like the saying goes, what goes up must come down, but Spider-Man right back at him taking a three. And now the Incredible Hulk in on the action. So yeah guys, this is an MGX mod, Marvel, DC Universe, y'all can find it on the NLSC forums, it is only for NBA 2K13 on the PC platform. So Batman is catching that alley-oop, getting up, throwing it back down yet again, Batman with a layup inside the paint. And now here we go with Wolverine, first name Logan, he gets that bucket to go, and now Batman once again trying to close in on this deficit and that is an incredible Hulk getting the right handed layup inside so a fail there by Iron Man trying to grab that loose ball Spider-Man catching on to the basket throwing that one down with two hands so nice jam by Spider-Man to end the first quarter we are down nine so yeah, I just think it's pretty crazy how amazing this mod is. Just look at how real everybody looks. From Superman and his cape, to Batman and his cape, to Iron Man. Just, it is just amazing. And uh, MGX really did something very special with this mod. So go ahead and support him. Check him out like I told y'all on NBA-Live.com. So check out the put back dunk. Man, I'm telling y'all, these superheroes are unreal. So after we get a tough basket inside the paint, Green Lantern is trying to get this alley-oop dunk off the inbound pass. He does just that, getting up and coming right back down, throwing that jam. So Batman throwing it cross court to Iron Man, who's trying to take it inside a nice hop step, left-handed layup falls. Yet again, Green Lantern is just too good. He looks unstoppable right now, but incredible Hulk using his weight, his height, and just everything he has, and gets a tough shot to go inside, so another huge dunk, and we get a block there, so we're out on the fast break, let's see what we can do here, throwing the oop, and we get the two points, so it is a tie ball game, 53 all until we had an unfortunate defensive breakdown there allowing an easy two points for the other team. So now that is incredible Hulk getting a basket of his own, but Batman can do anything. Look at that huge dunk, especially where he took off from. Major hops there from Batman, but of course, what else can you expect from a superhero? So with six and a half seconds left, Wolverine gets a go-ahead alley-oop dunk. Superman, Batman, game winner! Uh, and he misses it. It seems Batman isn't exactly cut out for that superhero role in NBA 2K13. <laughs> Yo, 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 this up? It's King of the Fourth Quarter here, and I'm bringing you guys some my team gameplay feature in Team in Fuego, aka Team Scrapper. With Team in Fuego, because we get it going, we go on great runs. There's nothing that the defense can do, making bucket after bucket, shot after shot, dunk after dunk. And the Team Scrapper, because we make those defensive plays, getting the steals, blocks, just out rebound the other team. Matter of fact, we're going to have a counter up there so you guys can see how many Scrapper like plays we make this game is Mike Dunleavy just trades a three in our face so what I like to do early is recognize my opponent I saw this guy is gonna be the take three often type guy because he had a decent you know, couple players on his bench and instead of starting him he started Steve Novak so you know he's gonna come out and try to join some threes so I decided to run a 3-2 just to prevent the outside shot as LeBron just gets outboarded by Darko Milicic but it's okay 
because right here we're going to get that steal as Alonzo Mourning saving it before it goes out of bounds. You see Joe Green on the break. Missing the dunk. That's crazy. But it's all right. He's going to make both his free throws. And right here, Terrence Rose getting that steal. And a great pass down there to our big man backup center. We usually just put him in the game to get rebounds. But right there, he's uh, showing some offensive skill as well. And uh, usually when I play my team, we just destroy teams. And I have LeBron James with closer, but he treated the second quarter like it was the fourth. He just took off and pretty much gave our team a decent lead. Right there, Daco Militix misses that hook shot. LeBron James on the break. I'm going to put this guy into the spin cycle to get that dunk. LeBron James, he treated like it was the fourth. And with good reason, because without this, I don't know how this game would have turned out. And he takes that step back jump, but that's 10 for him. All of it, well, eight of it in the second quarter. And this guy, LeBron, is just so amazing right there. Almost getting the steal, but it goes out of bounds, and it's all right. And we got Vinny Johnson there, our third string point guard. As we give it to LeBron, it's still a second, so you know he's still doing numbers. And we oop it up to Jill Green. What a magnificent acrobatic shot right there, a layup. I was expecting him to go up with a crazy dunk, but, you know, that was crazy too. Definitely a highlight play as this guy misses another layup. And we just get out on the breaks, man. We get out. He was not getting back on defense as Harrison Barnes gets that easy dunk. And now we're up by 11 with a couple seconds left in the second quarter. And again, we hit this guy who doesn't score often. And he makes the big play for us as Kenny the Jet Smith just makes that great pass. And right here, Nate McMillan, I started point guard hitting up Joe Green. That's the type of connection that we're going to see a lot um, in these team videos. But right here, the game's getting out of hand. We really want to go in and try to get up by 20. When we get up by 20, the game's pretty much over. As Marshall Julianas goes up with that contact layup. I gave him a finisher because with that Euro step is just amazing. And right here, they're on the break, and Marcel Chulion is going to sacrifice his body to Vin Rip Hamilton for making that play, and that's a charge. So that's decent. Um, a big play for us as LeBron James comes down and just make an and one dunk. And of course, he's making the free throw as well. So we're close to beating this guy by 20. That's our goal, to get up to the 20 mark as Alonzo Mourning makes that, you know, makes that layup after LeBron James gets that great steal. Terrence Rawls does things like this. Our team, we do not have a lot of, you know, plays where we just shoot threes and things like that. We're always on the break. You can tell by these highlights that we're on the break a lot. It's Marshall Tullionis hits that jump shot, puts us up by 20. Yes, yes, 20. And early in the fourth quarter, we're going to give it up to Gerald Green on the break as he makes his mid-range jump shot. And I guess this guy had enough. 22-point win for us. This has been the king of the fourth, and I'm out. Peace.